Stephanie Beaumont, coming to you from Cape Spear, Newfoundland. Well, thanks. And I mean, are you all here? No. no. Let's pause for a moment and remember I'm in the back seat with Alan Hawke. Up. Do you know that one of the cars is real? Yes, to land this space. Mr. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm thrilled standing beside you. Hey, wow. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. Their craft has stayed with 48-foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Welcome to CNBC, the show that celebrates all the people, places, and things that make the four Atlantic provinces so very special. From Nova Scotia to New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island to Newfoundland and Labrador, we take you to where the action is. And that's why we're in Digby for the ninth annual Wharf Rat Rally. Since 2005, thousands and thousands of motorcycle enthusiasts have made the drive to delightful Digby, Nova Scotia for a weekend's worth of wall-to-wall -wall wonder, or streetline spectacular as it were. As far as the eye can see, folks have flocked to this seaside community for the camaraderie and competition, for the sightseeing of all kinds, for the shopping and for the showing off your ride. In the nine years since it began, the Wharf Rat Rally has won prestigious tourism awards, garnered international recognition, and become the event for bikers in Atlantic Canada. So many people work year-round to make this weekend happen, helmed by the volunteer board of directors and led by this smiling fella right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of the board, Glenn Dunn, what a weekend. This is crazy, incredible, uh, just in like years gone by, only we're ahead by three hours. Uh, people are rolling in earlier, ready to go. We're seeing bikers here from obviously across the province, but where are they coming from? I know of a couple that came early from Yukon to go on an early ride. Uh, we know, I know people that were here from Tennessee, certainly Ontario, Quebec. There's a lot of a big Quebec contingent this year. Uh, Ontario, Eastern Seaboard, Maine, Florida, literally all over the world. I think there's a couple here from Korea that came specifically for the rally. Wow, you couldn't find a prettier spot. Now Digby, it's like 2,000 people, right? That's and correct. And what do you expect now for the weekend? Well, we, we anticipate we will in fact be over 25,000 motorcycles over the five day event. This, this puts us firmly, I've been hoping for this, and uh, we've had it confirmed that we are the largest multi-day event in Canada now. Fantastic. That's incredible. And now the events. You really have something for everybody this weekend. We do. I mean, it's billed as and actually is a family-friendly event. I mean, you can bring your kids here. We have almost as many people with, without motorcycles attend as we do with motorcycles. So it's fantastic. I mean, we have over 80-some vendors here now. Entertainment, bands going all the time. Uh, we have flyboard people here from Quebec. We have time trials at the airport, Harley Honda demo rides. Uh, we have a precision drill motorcycle team. When do you start planning it now? We're planning 2014 now. You are? Okay. Oh, absolutely, because that's yeah. our 10th anniversary. So. Uh, Nice. That's going to be cool. We should get a bike and come back for that. You absolutely should. <laughs> Still ahead on CNBC, we'll go shopping along the shore, witness some stellar stunts, get the scoop on skills from a championship scallop shucker, and dole out some free stuff too. But first, let's talk motorcycles. Because whether you rode into town on two wheels or four or even 18, you're in Digby because you like bikes. Walk down Water Street and it's row after row of every kind of make and model, from vintage to very new, from classic to custom. If you're in town this weekend, you're here to celebrate cycles. Matter of fact, the Wharf Rat Rally has grown to the point that Dealey Harley Davidson Canada has chosen Digby for their Canadian rollout of next year's models. That's cool. So it's time to cruise the drag and learn a few things in a segment we're calling, Hey, I Like Your Bike. Hey, buddy, I like your bike. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah, I like your get-up, too, eh? Well, you know, this is uh, this is something I do every year. I come down and create a bit of a spectacle and have a little fun with it. I'm thinking of wind resistance. Now, how does that work with the kilt and uh, whatnot? Proper tucking. You must tuck it properly or you will get a very, very bad draft. And I rode up from Halifax like this. You did not. Every year. <laughs> Trust me, there's some years that I regret it. You get a little knee chattering on the tanks. It's uh, it's an eye-opening experience. Now let me ask you this: because yeah. with boaters, you have two foot itis. Yeah. What about bikers? Do you ever go, oh man, I want that bike? Like, how does that work? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens pretty much every fourth or fifth bike that runs by. Really? It. Yeah. Okay, but you what, tell me about your bike. 
Well, my bike is an 07 Electric Light Classic. It's a 2007, it's a 103 motor in it, fully chromed out. It's got the wide spoke, the, the fat spokes on it. Just a really comfy bike. Yeah. Just a lot of fun to drive and as we get older, we, we need more comfort. Eddie, where have you gone now? What, tell, where's this bike been? This bike has been to Laconia this year. Um, I've been to Sturgis and Daytona Bike Week on oh, that bike. you have bike. multiple bikes? No, that's my old bike. Oh. That's my old bike. But yeah. I've Are been you standing amidst your bikes? Is this your field of bikes, Eddie? No, this is my bike. Okay. That's my old bike. Uh, that's a, my buddy of mine bought that. Do you ever look at it and go, oh, I miss that bike? Very much so. Is that true? Yes. Will he let you ride it? Yes, he will. But, so it's oh, a good... Look, 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 look. See what I mean by too many friends? I got too many of them. Show Eddie's friends. Look at them. Put them on camera. Get them on camera. Uh, <laughs> hey, lady, I like your bike. Thank you. What kind of bike is it? 1200 Sportster Custom. It looks like it goes real fast. Well, I guess it would. <laughs> we'll let you get on your way then. Thank you. Okay. Hey, buddy, I like your bike. Thank you. What's the deal? This is an old one. Yes, it is. 1929. Is this a Harley? Yeah. First year model, 45 cubic inch. They call right. it the three cylinder Harley because of the uh, vertical generator that I don't have somewhere in Ontario. <laughs> Can you go fast? Can you rival another bike? Or? Uh, if I try to keep up with the bigger bikes, I uh, shake things apart. Okay. And I got to fix it next week. So. so you just cruise? I cruise about 57. That's my top speed. Nice. Everything sort of smooths out. It's a sweet ride, Robert. Yes, it is. It's fun. Je m'appelle Stephanie. Uh, J'aime ta moto. Merci beaucoup. Oui. Um, Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un T-Rex de Campagna. C'est fait au Québec, à Boucherville. C'est... Euh, nous autres, on considère ça comme une euh, moto. Il faut mettre un casque. Uh, Elmer. Chouette. Okay, merci beaucoup. Hey, buddy, I like your bike. Thank you. An Indian. Yeah. I mean, come on. So what, what, what year are we talking here? 1947. Wow. Yeah. Sweet ride. Thank you. Yes, uh, me and my father built it together. You did? Yes. It took about five years to do it. We got it. It was kind of a semi-basket and had a lot of mismatched pieces. So we ripped it right apart. And the only thing old is the numbers on the insurance papers. Everything else is new, pretty much. So. It's beautiful. Thank you. Now, where have you taken this bike? Where has this bike been? Well, uh, actually, the bike's got more miles on it than me, but but not with me under it. It originally was ordered by a, a GI in um, Austria after the war, and he had it there till '61 and put it in a crate, and sent it back to his dad's farm in Surrey, BC, and the bike made it back, and he never did. He died over there. So the old timer who had it, he I guess came across hard times, had to sell it and it went through a couple different hands and then a friend of mine got it and he didn't know what he had and he phoned me up and says, you know, well, this is what I got, you know, anyone interested? I said, I am. So I went down, picked it up and that was about eight, ten years ago. And like I said, me and my dad, we spent five years putting it together out of, you know, a lot of... A lot of it's a labor of love. It is a labor of love. A lot of screaming and hair pulling too. And if, <laughs> and if my mom knew how much he had into it, she probably divorced him. But he's not with us anymore. He's still, he's riding in the sky, so. And rides along with you, I bet. Oh yeah, he is. Something like this has got a person's personality, blood, sweat, everything into him. You know, and like, even though it's my bike, I inherited, it's always known as my dad's bike. It'll always be my dad's oh, bike, so. Nice. Gotcha. Hey, buddy, I like your bike. Yeah, thank you very much. Mr. McIntyre, ladies and gentlemen, from Prince Edward Island. Yes, I'm from Prince Edward Island. I'm uh, one of the Blue Knights from over in PEI. Uh, there's like 25 of us. You're not all here today, though, are no, you? No, there's only, there's only two of us here in my bunch. What do you make of it? That pretty well describes it. <laughs> McIntyre, you probably drive all over that beautiful island on your bike, but riding around the Atlantic provinces, you can't beat that, can you? You can't beat the Atlantic provinces. Uh, Nova Scotia is beautiful. Uh, New Brunswick depends on the road you're on. A lot of woods over there. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but anyway, PEI is fabulous. There's 4,000 paved roads over there, and if you, make, if you make three lefts or three rights, you're back where you started. <laughs> okay, now talk to me, because there's this I won't say a rivalry, but if you love a Harley, you love a Harley. Would you ever go off that brand now? 
Honestly and truthfully, probably not. Okay. But I respect anybody that rides a motorcycle. I, it's quite okay with me. But you've been riding a Harley for how long? Uh, over 30 years. So. Actually, my first Harley was in 1965. I'm 70 years old. I'm sweet. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> machine. I love it. But I'm thinking now this would be perfect for me and the sidekick, huh? It's got a sidecar for the sidekick. I wonder how much this goes for. Anyone? Hey buddy, I like your bike. Hey, uh, thank you very much. It's a 2005 Road King with a Harley Davidson sidecar and a custom paint job. It's for sale if you want to buy it. That's gorgeous. Okay, now could you do it in pink for me? In what? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, no problem. I get my buddy to knock out your beautiful pink paint job. That's what you need. I might like that one, but this bike, everybody liked. This is the most likable bike, Raymond. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And and Minnie, did Minnie come with the bike when you bought it? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, Marion, you've got quite a sidecar there. What's yeah. the deal? You ride in style and comfort. Yeah, when it rains, I'll get in the sidecar. I, I've never seen anything quite, is it? A, it's a special one, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty special. <laughs> now, and what do you think about the driver here? Would you trade him in, Marion, or? Uh, I'd have to think about that. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Raymond, I'm only kidding you. Now, is it, now, all these bikes here, obviously everything's different, but when you're riding with a sidecar, any special things you got to keep in mind? The width. Yeah. Not to move so on. <laughs> Does it drive like a car, though? Because you're really balanced, are you? You're uh, not. No, just drive along just like a bike. Good mileage? Good mileage, yeah. How much would a ride cost, do you think? <laughs> For you, nothing. <laughs> well, you can't beat that. And while we're on the subject of free, here's your TV free stuff clue for the show. You'll have to remember something about this scene to score some lovely loot coming up after the break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to CNB Scene. We're here in Digby, taking in all the sights and sounds of the ninth annual Wharf Rat Rally. I'm sure there's a rat on your I know. <laughs> Talk about spirit. You can feel it everywhere this weekend and witness it too. And check out this crew. out of Moncton and hello Chantel what is this all about um, well this is this is our stunt team uh, so it's motorcycle freestyle we're based out of Moncton uh, we have riders from all across the provinces we have a few from Halifax and a few from PEI so don't try this at home, am I right? Is that like the one thing you've got it? Mean, um, how yeah, long definitely. do these guys practice in gas? A lot. Yeah. Um, every day, usually, they go out for a few hours of practice. We have some guys that have been doing it for 10 years, and we have guys that have been doing it for one or two years. I want to talk about these bikes, because they are special, right? They're, they've are they been tricked out, is that right? Yeah, they've been tricked out. Uh, the engines are all stock engines, so they're usually uh, 600cc bikes or 636, and the only really mods that are done to them is we take the plastics right off, that's just because they fall all the time okay. and they break and uh, the bikes tend to heat up really hot too. So we take the plastics out and uh, we put on a cage and the cage protects the engine for when the bikes fall. Um, there's also a very large rear sprocket um, and there's a handbrake as well for the rear. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. It sounds really impressive though. <laughs> yeah, um, well the purpose of the rear sprocket is just to slow it down so that we're able to do shows in smaller areas, right? Um, and then the handbrake is right here and that's for the rear uh, wheel so when you're up in a wheelie you can't use your front brake because it's not going to do anything right. so you use your rear brake okay. um, and a lot of times they don't have their foot down on their pegs so they have it all over the seats and they can use their hand to slow it down. Are moms allowed to come to the shows? No. Oh yes they really? do all the time yeah we have the best moms ever. And yeah. they don't freak out I'd be panicked. <laughs> <laughs> some some do a little bit but they're really proud of their boys yeah. and you know we travel all over and the guys love doing what they do so it's a lot of fun. Very yeah. good okay now I just want to ask you because we saw a lot of this up uh, I won't say burning rubber but you got to do something to the tires Is that right up front? Could you heat them up? Is that right? They no. No. Yeah they have to any kind of sport when you have to run to warm up or you have to stretch 
the guys have to warm their bikes up and they have to warm their tires up and get ready to do the tricks because if they just get on their bikes and try to get up in a wheelie they'll slide out because the tires are still cold okay um so that's kind See, of i would know out. this if i was a hub city center yeah, okay now yeah. let's just say hypothetically Chantel, someone's watching and going oh my gosh i would so love to do that are you ever recruiting how does that work uh yeah we always welcome anybody that wants to come out um and you know we have guys that are very willing to help them out that's how we get our riders so we have six riders on the team right now um, it's not often that it happens, but every once in a while we'll have a, a young guy that wants to come out and practice with us and, you know, they'll show them everything they know and, you know, it's just like anything else, you got to learn. And, right. Yeah. Take the bumps and bruises as exactly. they come. Exactly. I think I'll leave the stunts to those fellas and focus on my area of expertise, shopping. And the Wharf Rat Rally has a super selection. Everything from fun fashions to fresh fruit. And of course, great bike gear. Jackets and helmets, boots, you name it. These boots, however, well, they're for the birds. There's creativity and then there's creativity. Ladies and gentlemen, Diane Accent, where did you come up with that now? Um, four years ago, entered a contest, wanted to earn $200, won the competition, and just decided this was a new art, and what I, do you mean, I meditate. What, what is it? You, what competition? It was a competition to create the newest Christmas craft, and I had always, I'm pretty artsy, so this is <laughs> this is what's come out of it. And now I can't stop painting boots. So. I was getting, now, is it because you had so many of your own? You no, no, I'm a Ukrainian painter, so for me it was about small surfaces, and I just graduated from a small egg to a small boot. And now, do, are people giving you? boots now they the are they come to my door they drop them off I do the Bethany bargain bin and the Frenchies and I just look for good fun boots nice mm -hmm. and now how do the birds take to it I have had two out for two years and I have no idea who lives in them but they're everywhere well they're beautiful they're everywhere. how can I get them we're here now today where where can we find you when you're not at the Wharf Rat Rally well this is my fifth year at the Wharf Rat I live here in Digby but I actually am um, associated with the Lions Club we have a market in the Digby Mall and anybody can see them all year long and uh, they're just a great fun. They make you smile. Now talk to me about Digby though when it's not the Warfront Rally because it's a beautiful community. Do you know it was once nominated the most romantic destination in North America so we know it's gorgeous and a lot of weddings, a lot of uh, great things that happen here, a lot of people come just to relax. It's not just a summertime destination either. I love it. I mean the smell of the ocean yes. and it's a beautiful spot. What a lovely lady and she knows her romance. Head to her website at www.mycanadianaccent.com and you'll discover that in addition to being crafty, Diane is also a wedding officiant. And you know, as we discovered here at the Wharf Rat Rally, this passion for motorcycles, it can also lead to love. Asher, all the way from Vermont, tell me about the love story, because he's really dreamy, by he the way. He was quite dreamy. I, I did well, didn't you I? You did. Now, how did this happen? Well, um, I traveled to Australia like most people do on an airplane. Sure. Uh, this one traveled all the way from Holland on, his, on this. Right. Um, and we met just right over here on the map, scuba diving. Okay. This bike, this is this bike. what attracted you? Be honest. Well, besides the hair uh, and the eyes. I mean, honestly, that. I saw him in a wetsuit first before I saw him in his riding gear. It's not that kind of show, Asher. <laughs> Sorry. That's Sorry, all right. <laughs> did Great he get you hooked on biking then? Is that how it worked? He did. I'd, I'd grown up, uh, you know, riding around with my dad a bit, but uh, seeing the world on a motorcycle is really the best way to do it. You meet the most incredible people. You are part of the scenery that you're driving through. It's yeah. not just, you know, looking out the window and, and seeing everything go by. It's really phenomenal. And uh, very cool. Instilled that passion in me and it's just, it's been fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let, let, let's get the fella in here. Now explain this map to us. I'm coming over here. So now this, you've been everywhere on this bike on this map? Yes. Yeah. I started in Holland, did a few test rides before I would go on this uh, trip and so it took me a year to get all the way here um, to Australia, worked a while there and traveled around, met Asher. Met Asher, best part yeah, of the trip, so let's be here. clear. That was great. That should be, yeah. There should be a big red dot on that map There's now. a little circle there. Um, so <laughs> that's what heart, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, it's a good idea actually, I'll adjust that. <laughs> so yeah, we've been doing a lot together. She's been right there in that little spot on the bike and we got to the States. And what kind of bike is this that it goes that? It's Honda Africa Twin and you don't have it in, the, in Canada, okay. sadly. So. So, but you got your bike in Holland. Yes. Is, and now, is biking big over there? It must be, is because it was it's, all that beautiful. It's, yeah, it's pretty big, but oh well. Talk to big? me about Nova Scotia. What do you like in here? Uh, the rides are great. People are amazing. Uh, we really, really met uh, some great people. Like, uh, for example, now we're camping in someone's backyard. Uh, you know, it's where where do you find it? It's, it's yeah. great. You don't yeah. have a brother, do you? 
I don't even know where that question came from. Digby really is romantic, I guess. Look at this couple. Hey lady, I like your bike. Oh, thank you very much. It's my husband and my bike. Oh, you share it now. Yes, we what's, share. what's your name? My name's Gloria Salter. And you are? Fred Salter. Fred Salter. She's some sweetie. That she Gloria. is, she is. <laughs> now look. me the bike. You did? Yes. <gasps> You must be like wife of the year now, yes. are you? We were down south in Dominican and he was talking about how much he'd like to have a Harley Davidson. So I took money out of our retirement fund and he has a motorbike. Well, you'll be sainted for sure now, Oh, Gloria. God, yes. <laughs> Always on a pedestal. <laughs> What's with the handlebars, though? That's got to be a hard haul. Awesome, awesome. Really? Oh, you got to enjoy it, yeah. Can we see the two of you on it? Sure. Oh, you two look fantastic on that bike. <laughs> Did it take you long to pick it out? Not at all. Not at all. Fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. What's the grip? You're on a highway, you're doing, let's say, 90 comfortably. Do you feel like at any moment you could fall off, Gloria? Gosh, no, I fall asleep. <laughs> Gloria, you don't. He's a professional driver. You can fall asleep on the back of the I bike. do. Fall asleep. I don't know if I even want to talk about that I'm now. a good tourist. I fall asleep. <laughs> You've heard it all here now from the Wharf Rat Rally. Fred can drive and put people to sleep. Congratulations, Fred. Thank you, thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're the cutest. But honestly, who could sleep while you're cruising through the beauty of the four Atlantic provinces? Speaking of which, it's time to dole out some great TV free stuff that celebrates just that. Thanks to our wonderful friends at Nimbus Publishing, we've got New Brunswick's Covered Bridges by Brian Atkinson. He'll take you on a photographic tour of the wooden masterpieces sprinkled across the province's waterways. So much lovely history in the picture province. Prince Edward Island from Wayne Baird and Anne McKay, they'll take you on a spectacular photographic journey across Canada's smallest province. They'll share their love of the gentle island. Award-winning photographer Ben Hansen has St. John's. From the colorful bows of local fishing boats to Battery Park, his photographs convey the blending of old and new in the bustling city. And rounding out the Nimbus 4-pack, it's Terry James's Nova Scotia, a truly stunning collection of photographs from all parts of the province that capture the beauty and uniqueness of Canada's ocean playground. All that TV free stuff could be yours if you can answer the following question. I asked for my bike and sidecar in the same color as Minnie the Miniature Dog's helmet. What color was it? Once you've got it, hit the website. It's www.cnbc.com. Click on the TV Free Stuff button and submit your answer. Good luck to you, and we'll be right back. It sure is a beautiful day in Digby, Nova Scotia. The streets are lined with the sweetest of cycles, all in celebration of the Wharf Rat Rally. And with an estimated 25,000 extra people in town this weekend, you never know who you'll bump into. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Digby. Mr. Ben Cleveland, how are you? Well, I'm having a great day. Now, first of all, congratulations are in order, because I understand you just got your motorcycle license. Uh, a month ago, I just picked my license up, and actually three more of the administrative staff at Town Hall also got their bike license. I wondered if that was a prerequisite for holding office here. Uh, it's good. It, it, it's, every councillor is going to have to have a bike license. Is Dick's that election. true? Yeah. Well, well <laughs> we talk about it. I mean, what an incredible uh, jolt, if you will, to the population of Digby. Yes, it's quite a jolt to the whole whole region. Now, how many people have you met from out of town today? Have uh, you been work, working the streets, Mayor? Uh, oh, yeah. I've uh, met a guy from Kentucky. There's a chap here from California, and they're from Vancouver, right across the country. So Very good. Yeah. Now, on CNBC, we celebrate the four Atlantic provinces, and I know you love Digby. Tell me why people should come here, because it's a beautiful spot. Oh, well, look at the waterfront. But what really makes Digby special is the people here aren't holding back. Digby has chosen to move ahead with this type of festival. We have a lobster bash, we have a scallop days, we have a fire truck rally that's not done anywhere else in the country. Where were you born, sir? I was born here. Right in Digby. Right in Digby. Your whole life. I can see my, my mama can see my house from here. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, why would you want to go anywhere else? Hard to argue with Mayor Cleveland on that one. Be sure to check out www.digby.ca to find out about all the festivals he mentioned, including the one that celebrates their bounty from the sea, Digby Scallop Days. Celebrated every August, it's five days filled with great family fun and, of course, fresh local scallops. Which reminds me, we've got one more man to meet who'll hook us up with that tasty seafood treat. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Guinea and his peeps. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting the rundown on all the things you've accomplished. I'm going to say five-time champion, is that right? No, five consecutive Canadian champion titles. 
I've won the shock and Canadian shock and title, I don't know, somewhere between 13 and 15 times. See, that's unbelievable. Now they say Digby is the scallop capital of the planet. Is that fair? It is. <laughs> you, this here, this here is the best scallop in the world. Okay, now, and they're living. I don't mean to be dense, but that's alive now, right? Yes. We, right. we just caught these yesterday. I want to see you in action. Now, here All we right. go. This is a champion, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Usually, yeah. <laughs> usually aboard the boat, we're standing here and everything's going this way. Right. So, it's pretty, it's, it's at a fast pace. My best time in a contest is 2.3 seconds of scallops. See, that, don't blink, everybody. You might miss it. So that on 200 scallops, I shocked them in 6 minutes and 39 seconds. You must do it in your sleep, do you? I can close my eyes and shock one, yes. <laughs> How do we know? You're wearing those glasses. You could be closing I, his eyes eye, right now. My eyes are closed They're right closed now. right now. <laughs> yes, yes. But here, okay. here I, I'm putting everything in the basket so we right. don't make dirt across the sure. on thing. You're being environmentally friendly. Okay, here we well, go. All right. And those are serious gloves, too. Yes. Oh. All our knives... All our knives are homemade. Everybody has their own design. So we take a regular butter knife, you grind it down to what you you like your best. I have probably 15 knives aboard the boat. It's all according where we're fishing, if there's going to be a bigger meat or a smaller meat, or if they're bigger shell, smaller shell. Stay on we the use. right side of Mr. Gibney. That's all I'm saying, right? And you look very burly, too. I understand you're some sort of weightlifting champion. Is that as well? Is uh, that... Yes, I'm, I'm the current Master 2 power, Canadian powerlifting champion. It's too bad you're married now. Do you mind me saying that? Uh. Lola, <laughs> come on in here. This is Mrs. Guinea. Can you shuck like he can shuck? No, not at all. Nobody can shuck like he can shuck. There you, and there you have it. Yeah. All right. Uh, and so now what's the deal? You're married to a fisherman. Yep, I am. It's Did, great. Yeah. We don't have a scallop in our fridge. <laughs> it's like the cobbler's kid. It kids. is. It is. It's it really not true, is. but you love scallops. We love scallops, but right. we don't have any because we give them away. Oh, there you go. All right, very good. Now we're getting back to business yeah. here. Now what happens? You got well, a cracked open. This here goes oh. all in there. And, and that goes back in the yeah. ocean for people to enjoy. Our fish well, you know what? Like what the seagulls don't get is we chalk them overboard. The lobsters, the fish, right. will eat everything on the bottom. Nice. And, the, and, and, your... the, and the shells themselves help filter the water. Wow. And this here, That's a beautiful... you will not get any fresher than this right here. <gasps> and no better. How many do you eat when you're out there? Be honest. Not a lot. Well, they're very rich, so you can only eat a few when they're right. raw. I love scops. Okay, now I'm going to see you in action. One now? Uh, I'm going to just watch you. Oh, wait a minute now. We'll be real kind to you, and we'll only give you a little tiny piece. Okay. How's that? That sounds good. Okay, here we go. And, and, it, and it don't bite back. No. No. And you'll enjoy it a lot. That's you, beautiful. I'm yeah. going to hug him. <laughs> That's delightful. Yeah. I love that. You got a room on your boat, or...? I have a room on my boat. Do you have no? <laughs> <laughs> you just said it's I was not married. That kind what kind of show. questions you asking me? It's not that kind of show. <laughs> oh. Do you have room on your crew? Oh, on my crew. Uh, yeah, we can probably fit you on. <laughs> I don't even know what Why to say. Why are you anymore. blushing now? I don't know what to say. We should just take a break. <laughs> Well, we're here in Digby and we like to say goodbye then because she's blushing too much talking for <laughs> To watch this show again or see any episode of CMB Scene, visit www.bellalliant.net. They're all there on demand. And for a 24-7 celebration of the four Atlantic provinces, visit our site at www.cmbscene.com. That's going to do it from here in Digby. What a time we have had at the 9th Annual Wharf Rat Rally. Hopefully, we'll see you next year for the 10th. And hopefully, we'll see you on the next show. We'll be in Halifax for the Atlantic Film Festival. Wow. Can I get a ride? Anybody going to Chester?